Hi Plain Edge Soccer friends, it's Coach Deanna here to bring some soccer to your day. I hope that you and your families are well and that you guys enjoyed this soccer um, while we're away from the field for right now. The first activity we're gonna do is called body breaks. So you're gonna need to know your body parts. What's this body part called? Did you say elbow? If so, you're right. What is this body part called? That's right, it's your nose. What about these body parts? Yeah, your hands. And these? Knees. What about these? Your feet. Awesome job. So the whole point of today's game is to follow instructions and do really great dribbling. You're going to dribble around whatever area you're in, whether it be your yard or a park. Um, you're gonna dribble and you're gonna listen for me to call out a body part. So the second I call out a body part, you're gonna put your, so your foot on top of the soccer ball to stop it, and then you're gonna put your body part onto that ball. Watch me demonstrate, and then it'll be your turn. So, like I said, you're gonna dribble around. You could do a pullback or two, use both feet, put your elbow on the ball, you're gonna stop the ball and put your elbow right onto the ball. And then you're gonna continue dribbling. Dribble. Stop the ball, put your nose on the ball. You're gonna stop it, bring your nose to the ball. Now it's gonna be your turn. So get your soccer ball ready to dribble around. Remember as you're dribbling, keep that soccer ball close to your feet. We wanna be in control at all times. Dribble, dribble, dribble. Put your ear on the ball. So you're gonna stop the ball, put your ear on the ball. Good work. Dribble, go back to dribbling. Now put your elbow on the ball. Stop the ball, put your elbow on the ball. Fantastic work. Dribble, dribble. Keep that ball nice and close to your feet. Pick up the speed if you can a little bit. Stop the ball, put your shin on the ball. Your shin's right here, right below your knee. Great work. Dribble, dribble, dribble. A little bit faster. Do a pullback. And put your back on the ball. Great work. This is a game that you can continue with your parents, a sibling. Soccer friends, you did such a fantastic job with that first game. The second game that we're gonna play is four corners. You are going to need four things that you can dribble to. It could be a fence, a chair, it could be a plant, anything really that you want. I'm gonna use these four items out here. The first corner is going to be my phone. The second corner is going to be that plant. The third spot is going to be that little seat back there. And the fourth is gonna be this red chair. The goal of the game is to dribble to those corners as quickly as you can with the ball under control. You're going to listen to the corner that I shout out and you're gonna to dribble to that corner as quickly as you can. Again, make sure you keep that soccer ball close to your feet. You always want it under control. Let me demonstrate for you before we begin. I'm gonna call out a random number. I have to dribble to that corner and get soccer ready. Watch me. I call out number one, you're gonna to dribble to the first spot, which is this phone, and then get soccer ready. Let's say I say corner number three. I'm gonna dribble to that corner. Stop, get soccer ready, and listen for the next instruction. Corner number two. Corner number four. Corner number one. For demonstration, I kept these items really close. I really encourage you to keep these, these items far farther apart so that you can dribble further distances. Are you guys ready to go? All right, let's start at corner number one. Dribble to corner number one and get soccer ready. Awesome. Now I want you to dribble to corner number two as fast as you can. Quickly keep that ball close to your feet. Get soccer ready when you get there. Fantastic job. Corner number four. Great job. Corner number two. Awesome. Corner number three. Two. Corner number one. Awesome job. You Soccer friends, you did such a fantastic job with your second activity. The third and final activity that we're going to do today is a target practice activity. 
we are going to use an item that you don't mind kicking your soccer ball into. I want you to make sure that it's parent approved also. Um, don't use one of your mom's plants because I'm sure she wouldn't appreciate you kicking your soccer ball into her plant. I'm gonna use this empty goldfish box that I was gonna throw away in the garbage anyway. So it might be something like that that you wanna use. The whole purpose of today's activity is to try and kick the soccer ball at our target, okay? And there's a couple of tips that I wanna give you. Make sure that you use your non-kicking foot make sure it's planted and pointed at your target. If your non-kicking foot is not pointed at your target, you're gonna have a harder time kicking the soccer ball into that target. My second piece of advice is to make sure that after you kick the soccer ball that your foot follows through straight and not across your body. Let me demonstrate. and some practice in and then as you want to increase the speed it's going to be a little uh, increase the distance it's going to be a little bit more challenging so I want to make sure that my non-kicking foot is planted towards my target okay it's not pointed towards my phone it's pointed right at the goldfish box now I'm going to use the side of my foot to kick the soccer ball straight at the box see how my foot my leg went straight it didn't go across my body it went straight towards the target now you can use your laces as well you get to choose so then I'm gonna reset I'm gonna sit back a little bit further because that was a little easy for me I'm gonna back up take a step back get my planted foot towards my target and get ready to hit my target by kicking the soccer ball and following through again I encourage you to increase your distance between you and your target to create more of a challenge for yourself. You can do that 20 times, 30 times, you can do it for five minutes. The choice is yours. I hope you enjoyed this activity today and I look forward to seeing you guys on the soccer field soon.